intercepts. On a graph, there are two intercepts. There's the x-intercept, which is the point where the line touches the x-axis. Then there's the y-intercept, and that is the point where the line touches the y-axis. So on this graph, this point right here would be the x-intercept. And the one up here is the y-intercept. No matter where the intercept is along the x or y axis, each intercept is always in the same form. We'll start with the x-intercept. If you are on the x-axis, that means that you went somewhere left or right, but you did not go up or down anywhere on y. So x-intercepts are always in the form x0. For the y-intercept, you did not go anywhere left or right, but you went up or down on the y-axis. So y-intercept is in the form 0y. So let's look at some graphs and find the x and y-intercept. So under each one of these, I'm going to label x-intercept and y-intercept. So for our first graph, and I'm going to go ahead and zoom in a little bit so you can see a little bit better. X-intercept, remember, is where the line touches the x-axis. So find the x-axis, find the line, so right here. So that point, start at the origin, and you're going to go 1, 2, 3 to the right. So the ordered pair is 3, 0. Y-intercept, where the line touches the y-axis. So here's the y-axis. Here's your line. So we went nowhere left or right, but we're going 2 down. So 0, negative 2. For this graph, we have to notice that the axes are counting by 2's. So the x-intercept, where the line is touching the x-axis, is right here. And starting at the origin, we are going 2 to the left. So negative 2, 0. And the y-intercept is here. Nowhere left or right, and we're going to go up 6. So 0, 6. And for our last graph, we can see that our line does not touch the x-axis anywhere. The x-intercept is not 0. 0 is a number. That would mean it was touching at the origin, which this graph is not. So for the x-intercept, you would write the word none there is no x-intercept. y-intercept, the line is touching the y-axis right here, so that is at the point 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 0, 3. And the last thing, find the x and y-intercept for the graph of the equation. So given an equation, we have to remember that the x-intercept is in the form x0, and that the y-intercept is in the form 0y. So to find the x and y-intercept, we plug in a 0 for that respective variable. So we'll start with the x-intercept. So we're going to plug in a 0 where we see y. So 3x minus 5 times 0 equals 30. Work this out. 3x Negative 5 times 0 is 0, equals 30. Solve for x. So the x-intercept is 10. And we would write that as an ordered pair, 10, 0. Y-intercept, this time we're going to plug in a 0 where we see x. So 3 times 0 minus 5y equals 30. 3 times 0 is 0. Negative 5y equals 30. Solve for y, divide by negative 5 on both sides, y is negative 6. So the ordered pair would be 0, negative 6.